Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play episode, um, um, 24. 24. Yes, thank you guys. Joining me this week, uh, Riz and Bobby. Hello, boys. Hi. Contributors to InsertCoinToBegin.com. You can find Riz at RizIUP on the Twitters and at BobbyFJTown on the Twitters. We talk. You can find the site at InsertCoinTB on the Twitters and uh, uh, Google Plus, the Facebooks, uh, iTunes, Sad Cat, Sad Kitty, Roku. Roku. We're on Roku if you uh, have one of those crazy things. Stitcher. Stitcher. Spreaker. We're on Stitcher now? I don't know. Yeah, you should be on Stitcher, or, uh, Stitcher now, yeah. yeah it's awesome. Sort of just keeps adding names, and I keep saying them. Anyhow, if you're tuning in for the first time, the way this show works is we answer a series of questions, hopefully starting some kind of weird argument or trend like Lego movies. And, <laughs> uh... And they will never die. Uh, but each and every week, we start with the same question. It is, what are you playing, and did you play the challenge? Last week's challenge, you couldn't really play. Um, we, we threw you a curve. Uh, it was to go see Wreck-It Ralph. And guess who didn't hit the curve? Oh, Bobby. Bobby. Well, it's not my fault I'm forever alone. Don't have anybody to go to the movies with. Hey, you can go, oh, you can go oh. see it by yourself. I don't like to go to the movies. By myself. All right, Bobby. What are you playing although, this although week? Although I did see Bond this week, so. Did you go by yourself? Wasn't. No, I went with my friend Josh. Oh, your friend Josh Sorry. should have went to see Wreck It Ralph with he you. He didn't want to see Wreck It Ralph. I don't know then why. He is a and terrible person. Then you <laughs> need a new friend. Yes, you need new so friends. Don't want to see Wreck It Ralph. Anyhow, what are you playing? Me? Yes, you. <laughs> this week I played Forza Horizon, uh, which. Other than what Frank said, it's awesome. Um, Shadow of Colossus HD, which I rediscovered that game. Beautiful game in, in high definition now. Wait, is it um, on Xbox? No, it's on uh, PS3. Oh, that's right. You have one of those yeah, shit machines. Yeah, I have machines. a PS3. Uh, Madden 13 and Assassin's Creed 3. Ooh, you finally yeah. picked it up? Yeah, I, did, I, I picked it up. Uh, I got it on last Friday. And uh, I played no, no two Fridays ago. I guess it would, would have been. <coughs> so what'd it, you think? It's awesome. Yeah, love it so far. Yeah. Riz. I was mad about the twist though. Oh, I love the twist. I love the twist. The twist. I was mad about the twist. That won't spoil awesome. anything. But uh, awesome. Riz, I saw Wreck It Ralph. What'd you think? Effing awesome. Uh, the greatest <laughs> cinema. It is. Would you call it? The greatest cinematic achievement of all time. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Sorg from behind the board gave me a head shake with no. <laughs> Did you cry? Actually, I have to I have to mention that the short that they played before that, I think it was called what Paper Man. Yes, was, I was amazing. That was, that was brilliant. Yes, and I I did not cry. But I overheard someone say to another person, are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. But other than that, I've been playing Assassin's Creed 3 and WWE 13, but I believe there's a game that came out today. Um, I ain't kidding. I'm not, I'm not sure what's the, what it's a, like, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't there, know what it's I don't, called. I don't know if anybody noticed that there's a new game out today. Is it about fish? Well, considering that it every... About, it, let's say it's about COD. Every, yeah. uh, considering that every person I play Call of Duty with sent a tweet out about there being a new Call of Duty, <laughs> along the lines of stabbing faces... Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Call of Duty yeah. Black Ops Two came out today. Picked uh, it up. <laughs> um, and it, I got my first... Final kill cam. Nice. Oh, nice. Black Ops 2. <sighs> Felt great. Random sword. Was it a good one? It was pretty good. Shot him in the testicles. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> and uh, so I, this week I played uh, Assassin's Creed 3, um, WWE 13, which I wasn't going to pick up so soon, but I beat Assassin's Creed 3 rather quickly. So I, I picked it up. Um, and uh, Pokemon Blue. 
<laughs> I decided to go back and start playing Pokemon. Uh, the first one, Blue, again. Uh, <laughs> which I, I turned into an interactive experience. Um, I, I let Twitter pick my first Pokemon. Uh, Twitter is a bunch of assholes, by the way, <laughs> as uh, they made me pick Charmander, who is by hey, far not bad. Yeah, he's the hardest one that you can start with. Oh, um, but it pays off. Hey, well, I mean, considering that I have, I, I'm working on an all dragon team now. Yeah, it pays off. So let me guess, you got a uh, Magic Carp? I did. Okay, I, it's a, uh, it's now a Gerardos. How many magic carp do you have? Just one. Just one? Yeah. Why? Get a full army of magic carp. <laughs> yeah. Formidable team. That, that way they all do splash and splash. and I lose every battle. That's what happened to John. <laughs> magic carp came and, uh, Magic carp everywhere. <laughs> they showed up and they just started splashing. And, and this Jones. time and this time it was extremely effective. <laughs> For the it's first time ever. Yes. For the first time ever, this move actually did something other than <laughs> failed. <laughs> Do I have to have played Pokemon to understand what the hell you guys are talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, okay so, uh, and I'll explain it because there's a lot of people out there who haven't played Pokemon. Uh, uh, you can catch fish, like Pokemon fish. Yeah. And the only thing that it can catch is this God, you an old rod. <laughs> and the only thing it can catch is a fish that's called a Magikarp. Don't let the old guy it's splash you with his old rod. And the only move this fish has is called Splash. Now, you can use Splash 15,000 times you can use this move 15,000 times in a row and it's not going to do anything. <laughs> it'll it'll come up and it'll say this move has no effect. So, uh, Magic Carp is the short bus helmet riding elbow licking friend of the Pokemon world. Is that the only move it has? As Magic Carp, I believe yeah, so. Yeah. How's it level up? <laughs> I don't know. It, yeah. Every time you every time you start a Pokemon, yeah. it levels. Yeah, you, it oh, levels, that's right. Yeah, you get points. gains experience. But um, yeah, yeah. but I I I I've been using Game Shark anyhow because I I decided I want all 151. Which, if you're playing with an emulator by yourself, it's impossible. Considering that uh, you have to be able to trade. To yeah, this is the first game that really got into the whole like social yeah. thing. This, so this is the precursor to Farmville. Right. Only with Game Boy. Um, so yeah, I, I spent a lot of time uh, playing that. I have, I've probably caught about 75 of the little fuckers. Um, and, uh, and made them evolve and everything. So on to the questions. Uh, we're going to start with uh, what game has the best side missions? Bobby. Uh, my choice would be Borderlands 2. Um, there are a couple hilarious side missions, like the robot gun that I mentioned before, um, and the Ninja Turtles side mission, which is also amazing. Uh, you start with by getting a pizza at the uh, local casino, and you have to take it down into the sewers for these turtles. So, um, name like Mike and Raph, and it's really cool. A really fun mission. There, there are tons of tons and tons of fun missions on that game. Is Shredder in the game? No, he's not. No, but you do fight Splinter. They're, they're they're actually not turtles, but they just give them the the voice like that, and they have like ninja moves. So it's pretty fun. Why would you fight Splinter? I don't know. Why do you fight the turtles? <laughs> <laughs> is that it yeah that's it Riz either Mass Effect 2 or Mass Effect 3 uh, they they aren't they are technically side missions but anything you do in those side missions does affect what you do in the main missions okay in the like, main game like what so let's say uh, you save an Elcor 
army base. Elkors are those giant elephants. They will give you giant elephants to fight reapers. Oh. Hmm. And everybody likes a giant elephant. Everybody loves a giant elephant that can talk. And uh, let's see. I can't really think of like one particular mission, but everything counts on having something done on those missions. Okay. And it's optional, but it's a lot of fun, and it does help out in the, in the end of it. Okay. Um, myself, I'm going to have to go with um, hunting in Assassin's Creed 3. And stabbing a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I could never find a bear. Those are elusive creatures. Like I, I can, and I'm happy to say this, but I took down an elk with my hidden blade, and I was rather proud. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I jumped on that thing, I just plunged it in its head, and I was just like, "Yes, elk down!" But I, I'm, I might have air attacked a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, twice, the, twice, twice. The, the hunting in uh, AC3 is just fun. Um, but yeah, that's all I got really. Side is, side missions are blah. Um, want me to take this one? Yeah, sure. Uh, I went on Twitter today and asked the loyal listeners of the of the Let's Play audience about what questions should we ask, and one what questions should we answer. And one of them was from at Mad Mike for forty eight eighty three, uh, and his question was, "What's the most anticipated w- uh, Wii U game? <laughs> WWE game? <laughs> WWE Wii U game? <laughs> WWE that, that, that's come that, that's coming out on launch. launch. Okay, Bobby, none. Moving on. <laughs> wow." <Chucky. laughs> um, uh, is Zombie U a launch game? Yeah, I think, I think so. it is. Then I, I'm going to have to uh, go with that one. Um, but yeah, I agree with Bobby. Next. It, it, <laughs> is, is the uh, unreleased Zelda game, unannounced Zelda game, available? No, no. probably not. Oh. Mario Kart. How about... They, how about no, they didn't announce any Mario Kart how about, how about Mario, Par- Mario Party? Um, no. no, no. Su- Super Smash Brothers? No. no. Nope. Just a bunch of crap. Well, actually Ray- Rayman is Rayman is probably top on that list. But, but it's I don't already see on the consoles. <laughs> yeah. All right. In honor of uh of today being uh face stabbing day. Um <laughs> Happy Face Stabbing Day, Josh. Yes. Happy stab, stab, stab. Face Stabbing Day to you, gents. Thank you. Um, you. And uh, the four people with headphones on right now uh, all appreciate this day and all play together. (laughs) Yes, uh, (laughs) we all play together uh, at least (laughs) once or (laughs) once a week and uh, take fun in our inability to play this game (laughs) in comparison (laughs) in comparison to the others on uh, Xbox Live. However, what is the craziest or best kill you've gotten in Call of Duty? Bobby. Um, one time I hit somebody in the groin with an unexploded grenade, and it actually killed them, which was the weirdest thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, it hit them first, they hit the ground, and then it exploded. But they were already on the ground. Um, and any any kill with the throwing knife or the, uh, the I forget what, what it was called, the, um, the knife in Black Ops that you could shoot. Ballistic? Or the flamethrower in Black Ops. Ballistic knife? Yeah, the ballistic knife, which was awesome. Is it back, by the way? Yes. Yes. <laughs> as well as the crossbow. Yes. Oh, man, well, the if there's a crossbow, I'm yeah. going, I'm uh, going ape shit. The crossbow. <laughs> Riz. Chachi, I pass my turn on to you. Because I want to finish this. <laughs> okay. Um... I, I have to agree with Bobby. Uh, any kill with a throwing knife, uh, just because they're few and far between, mm-hmm. and they're amazing every time it happens. Because uh, you're sitting there, you, you walk around, you have this knife primed to hit someone. And 90% of the time, you miss. 
So you got to hurry up and just start firing at them. And also, hope... also stick in someone with a, with a Semtac grenade. Uh, yeah, that's, hold on. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, the throwing knives are amazing. And uh, my particular favorite kill I've ever, ever gotten uh, <laughs> was actually a revenge kill. Uh, I had been taking, uh, taking, I had gotten to a, a firefight, and at the beginning of it, I'd thrown a Simtac grenade, and it stuck to the guy. However, before it blew up, he completely blew me away. Like, he destroyed me. I had not a chance. So I, I was laying there watching the, the kill cam, and sure enough, it, right as he killed me, he fucking exploded. <laughs> because I, I stuck the grenade to him, and... Neither of us knew. All right, Riz. All right. So, in general, my favorite kill is sniping someone in Nuketown from a, from your vantage point in the in the house mm-hmm. to the other house in the window <laughs> with a grenade launcher <laughs> and watching the bitch explode, and then. My personal favorite, <clears throat> Chachi, yeah, was we we were playing. I think it was Hard Hat, and there was this one time where I saw you walk across, kill about two, three people in the process. It was, and I and I made the turn, and. I just kept following you. He, he did, and I didn't realize he had been following me for that long. And then I, uh, I think you turned around, yeah. or I just s- no. stabbed you. I, I went to turn around because I had killed everyone in my direction, <laughs> and I'm like, oh well, I should probably go back and see if people have respawned yet. And Riz was there, well, and, I, and I just stabbed, stabbed me in you. the face. And I'm, I'm, my mind is foggy. But I believe I did the noble thing afterwards. Yes, um, you teabagged <laughs> the teabagged. shit out of me. <laughs> uh, I got a, I actually got a funny story. It's not my, not my kill or anything, but we were playing Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2, and my friend Dave was laying in a field, hiding. Okay? And somebody ki- got the final kill on him, and we were like, what the hell happened, Dave? Okay, on the kill cam, Dave's laying in the field. Somebody comes up with a riot shield and in slow motion clonks him twice to kill him. And it was like clonk, clonk. <laughs> it was the slowest, most just ridiculous kill ever. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, happy, happy okay. face stabbing day, guys. <laughs> uh, same to you, man. All right. Go ahead, Bobby. Your question. Take us out. Okay. Uh, now that all the almost all the big ga- games have come out for 2012, what games are you most looking forward to next year, 2013? Hmm. Riz. Uh, well, first of all, Hitman Absolution is coming out later. Uh, we said big games. Oh. <laughs> you know, ones that people actually care about. Oh, Riz. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying his barcode. I'm going to stab you in the face, Chachi. Yeah, yeah. It'll but be Friday soon, buddy. Other than other than this month, there's no re- really big games out that are coming out until Grand Theft Auto V. Yes. We, ha- we haven't really gotten much in the way of videos and crap like that, but from the screenshots, from like the from the character build ups I can I see mm-hmm. I think I think one just recently came out about the three main characters. Yeah, there's three main characters this time. It looks awesome. Chachi. Yes, sir. Um is Assassin's Creed four an option? No. <laughs> can it, I have it, can I have one of those in twenty thirteen? I don't think that's coming next year, <laughs> no. <laughs> But they do come out with one every year, so can, it might be. Can I have? Any, I, I want any Assassin's Creed next year. <laughs> as long as it continues the story, I, I'll be fine with it. Um, no, I, I agree. I agree with Riz. Uh, GTA Five um, and The Last of Us and 
I think that's it. But I, um, you know, I have I have a bad memory, so we'll see what actually comes out next year and <laughs> what I get excited for. Bobby, um, I'm really looking forward to Nino Cooney, uh, Wrath of the White Witch. No, um, that's for PS3. It's uh, making, Studio Ghibli. You're making it up. Made, like Spirited Away and all those movies. They this is their first video game uh, with the people that uh, from Level Five did uh, Dragon Quest Eight, I believe. Which is an amazing game. Um, Bioshock Infinite. Everybody, I think, is looking forward to that one. The Last of Us, which every time they release new stuff for that just blows me away. And, um, uh, of course, Grand, Th- Grand, Tur- or Grand Theft Auto V, which I think everybody's excited for that one. It's been it's been a while. So. Also, just looking at the, review, at the uh, actual games that are coming out. South Park is coming out with another video. Oh, game. that's right, the South oh, Park one. Oh, yay! March fifth, yay! <sighs> maybe, oh, maybe it's gonna be amazing. Maybe, maybe it won't suck. They'll release no, a game it, that doesn't suck. It's gonna be amazing. Riz no. or Bobby, 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 Bobby. It's let an me, RPG. Bobby, what? Let me let me fill you in on a little history here. I know South Park games have been terrible. Um, how many games has South Park released? 50. And how many of them were good? One. Zero. Hey, no. Hey, remember that one time you told the South Park, asked the South Park, <laughs> Park guys to their face if South they would, uh, <laughs> if, uh, if the game was going to suck at New York Comic Con? Or are you sure you're not drunk? He's not drunk. Um, <laughs> I went, No wonder we didn't get invited back. Uh, yeah, that's right. That, that had nothing to it. do with it. <laughs> We had a million awesome interviews, and so I was a little candid with the assholes from South Park. All right, is it too much to ask for a good game? Jesus. Instead, instead of releasing fifteen million shitty games. I mean, I mean, you know, it was only like two members of you know the like, actual the, studio. The, yeah, wasn't the guy like the executive president of executive. South Park Studios or something like that? Yeah. Executive like president. Like basically probably the most powerful guy that's not Matt and Trey. Yeah. Yeah. And uh the, the guys at Oceans Interactive probably weren't happy about it either. No. 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 Uh-uh. Billy Oceans Interactive. <laughs> hey, you know what? Here's a grand idea. If you don't want people at the next, if you don't want people to ask you in interviews if the next game is going to be terrible, <laughs> make good games. How about you don't make terrible games, <laughs> right? How, how was that game? How did it turn out? No, terrible. It was terrible. terrible. Yes. <laughs> no, uh, Rick played it. And told me it was bad. Yeah, it was awful. Um, but uh, it, just like if I ever had a chance to meet the Fez guy, <laughs> you would slap the Fez him. guy. <laughs> You'd be like, what the. The guy who made Fez, the game? Oh, I thought you meant Wilmer Valderrama. No. No, 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 no. no. I, I, meant, I meant the pretentious asshole that created the video game Fez. <laughs> sure that wasn't Wil- Wilmer? It was yes. Wilmer Valderrama. It sounds like it, but no. Um, I, like, I honestly don't think Sorg would let me interview him. <laughs> I, I think you would punch the guy out. I would probably knock his teeth out, yeah. Hey, it's your show. <laughs> no. It, well, it, I'd it, be doing it. it hey, if you want to do a version of this podcast, we'll just, you know, call it game developers assholes to their face. <laughs> I mean, we could try that. I mean, it could be a niche that uh, nobody else is really mentioned. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? And, you do the same thing with pro wrestlers, too. Unfortunately, some of them will... And, uh, all right, so to wrap up, uh, Call of Duty came out today. The Fez happy drag. Face stabbing day. Yes, happy face stabbing day. The guy who created the game Fez is a complete and utter asshole. <laughs> and uh, so that's all we have for this week of uh, Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play hey, episode. I haven't offended anybody yet. I know. It was me. <laughs> yeah, you <were> fin- <laughs> No, listen. I did a no post. Achievement. I did a post on it, and I got some horrible feedback on the Fez website when I posted it on there. Uh, and you it, posted it on the Fez website. And it was amazing. Hey, let me go in your house and tell you why you suck. <laughs> <laughs> At least I have the balls to go into the dude's house and tell him he sucks. I'm not some passive-aggressive asshole on the internet. I said it to dude's face. You're definitely not a passive-aggressive asshole. <laughs> no, I'm straight-up asshole. And I said it to dude's face. 
So fuck him. On the internet. <laughs> well, yeah, because I've never met the guy. Josh is my real name. I'm pretty sure I have a. I'm pretty sure if I ever met the guy in real life, he I would have a restraining order against me in a heartbeat. <laughs> um, anyhow, thank you for listening to this episode of Insert Coin to Begin presents Let's Play. Be sure to check out everything we do over at InsertCoinToBegin.com. Ta-da! And you can check us out on Twitters. I'm at Chachi Says with at Riz IUP at Bobby FJ Town at Sorgatron. And you can follow the whole Insert Coin to Begin team at Insert Coin TB. We're also on the Google Pluses and the Facebooks and uh, iTunes, Stitcher, Roku, uh, Spreaker, um, a lot of places. Are, if you are you on Spreaker. I don't know. I don't know. On, no, no, that's Mayhem Show on Spreaker. Well, then oh, okay. get us nope. on Spreaker. I, well, I, that's a okay. All right. <laughs> stop <laughs> make stop making a liar out of me and get us on Spreaker. <laughs> <Okay>. Um, <laughs> this week's challenge. Let me look at my phone. See what I've been playing. Uh, we will go with Angry Birds Star Wars. people in the face. Angry yeah, Birds Star um, Wars. yeah, Angry Birds Star Wars came out, so let's dude, make that the challenge. Dude, I've been I loving just it. Downloaded. Where's my phone? I just lost my phone. It oh, is no. so awesome. If you if you enjoy like the face the family guy like spin off things and anything Star Wars, it doesn't suck. This is pretty good. Um Yeah, they have, like all the birds are different. Like you get a bird like so far I got a bird with the with the with the lightsaber and I got one that like blasts with the blaster. I have another one with the force push. I, it's it's pretty cool so far. And I'm only on a new hope so far. So yeah. <laughs> Chachi, Britt, take it out. So uh, this week's challenge, Ang- Angry Birds Star Wars. Uh, so, for uh, Bobby and Riz, I am uh, Chachi, and we'll see you next week. Like it was great stab, 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 stab. <laughs>